Howdy friends and neighbors! I hope you've all received your copy of the Advent Calendar of Devotions for 2021. If you need a copy for yourself or a friend, we still have more copies available here at the church. Feel free to stop by anytime during our office hours of 9 to 4, Monday through Thursday, or give us a call at 243-2195 and we can make arrangements to get a copy to you. There are different kinds of advent calendars in the world. Some have little doors you can open with chocolates or other treats behind the doors. This advent calendar has a very special treat for each day, a delightful morsel of reflection, a reading for each day to help bring us closer to God during the holy season of advent. After all, that is what advent is all about. The word Advent means coming, and during the season of Advent, we celebrate that God came to us as baby Jesus, born in Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago. We also look forward to Jesus coming again in glory. The word Advent is Latin in origin, and it's related to a couple of other words we are probably more familiar with. One of those is adventure. In fact, most of the word adventure is in the word advent, just with a U-R-E added to the end. What do you think of when you hear the word adventure? Maybe you think of Adventureland with its roller coasters and stomach churning rides. Maybe you think of extreme sports or exotic travel locales. When I hear the word adventure, I think of some of my favorite books from when I was first old enough to read real books with chapters. I loved adventure books. I wanted to read stories in which the characters went places and did things. Stories where they had to survive against all odds and accomplish a difficult task and maybe even solve a mystery or two along the way. Now, maybe Advent doesn't feel like an adventure to you. Maybe it feels like the opposite of an adventure, something quiet and restful, with softly falling snow bathed in the gentle glow of candlelight as you warm yourself with a steaming cup of hot cocoa or tea. But the word Advent shares the same root of the word adventure, and if we look closer, we can understand why. Modern definitions of the word adventure tend to include words like risky or hazardous, and we hear echoes of that sense in the word venture. Like the old saying, nothing ventured, nothing gained, it carries the idea of taking a chance, of putting one's assets on the line in hopes of gaining something even more worthwhile. None of that sounds like our experience of Advent, but what happens when we turn the word around? After all, the Advent season is not about our coming, but about Jesus coming to us, about Jesus' Advent among us. Advent was Jesus' great venture, risking himself for the sake of all of us. Jesus put his assets on the line in hopes of gaining something even more worthwhile, not for himself, but for all of us. When we hear the Christmas story, we hear about Joseph's side of the story and Mary's side of the story and the shepherds, angels, and wise men, but we don't often dwell too deeply on Jesus' experience. And yet, of all the adventures in the Christmas story, Jesus' adventure was the riskiest the most dangerous, and the one which, if it proved to be successful, would profit all of us more than any other venture before or since in all the history of the world. Jesus came to us, born among us, born into stinky, dirty, germ-riddled humanity. And he wasn't born in a nice, clean hospital or even to a wealthy household. He was born poor, homeless, the wise men may have brought valuable gifts, but they also brought startling news. King Herod wanted him dead. Jesus lived out a far greater adventure than most of us have ever experienced, and that was even before he was old enough to have a say in what was going on. Throughout the Christmas story, we see glimpses of the other characters in the story, and each of them is given the choice of how they will participate. Mary agreed to the angel's proposal. Joseph seriously considered divorcing her, but then decided to keep her as his wife instead. 
the shepherds discussed among themselves and ultimately chose together to go to Bethlehem to see the thing the angels had told them about. The wise men made the decision to follow the star. And what about Jesus? Did Jesus choose this adventure? Did Jesus choose to come to us? The Christmas story doesn't quote Jesus here or tell us his perspective directly, and yet prophecies throughout the Old Testament foretold what God had been planning for centuries. Jesus came from glory. Jesus came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made human. Jesus didn't just show up out of nowhere. Jesus came from glory to share his glory with us. Jesus came from heaven that the kingdom of heaven might be among us. Jesus had an adventure, a risky, dangerous adventure. There's another word that shares the root of Advent, and it's a word we don't use quite so often, adventitious. Not advantageous, that's a Middle English word borrowed from the French with a different root and a different meaning. No, adventitious shares the same root as Advent, the same foundation of coming. In this case, of coming from somewhere else. The word adventitious refers to something which is not native, not from around here, something alien or foreign. The Gospel of John captures this idea beautifully in John chapter 1 verses 10 through 13 where we read about Jesus that he was in the world and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or husband's will, but born of God. Jesus came from glory, that we might know glory. Jesus came from heaven, that we too might be born from above. Jesus brought that foreign element of perfection into our fallen, imperfect world, that we might catch a glimpse of the glory that awaits us when he comes again. We celebrate these two things during the season of Advent, that Jesus came to us, he risked all in this great venture, and he ultimately paid all for our sakes. And secondly, that Jesus Christ will come again in glory, in the fullness of his glory, that the kingdom of heaven, which we glimpsed in his first coming, would be fully realized in his second coming, Advent. It may not feel like an adventure to us, but it was an adventure for Jesus. When we place our hope and trust in him, he leads us on adventures of faith that will end as only the best adventures do, not just happily ever after, but in glory. Join us this Advent season as we adventure together, rejoicing that Jesus Christ came to us and that he will come again. Let us read and reflect upon our daily devotions together, and join me again next week, right here on our YouTube channel for the First United Presbyterian Church of Atlantic Iowa, as we adventure through Advent together. See you next week!